Hello, Daphne here. Behind me, you'll see this large framed piece of artwork. It is nine wild women in history done in needlepoint. And I'm going to explain each and every one of these ladies that I stitched lovingly over several years. I just love needlepoint. It's a passion of mine. It's been a hobby and I have loved it for my entire life ever since I was in my early 20s. But this was by far my most ambitious project and I can't wait to share it with you. The first wild woman in history is Mata Hari. And this was a lot of fun to stitch. I don't know whether you can see it, but I made this really thin threads to make her look like she had a veil. There are little gold beads in her hair. She's playing castanets. She's got on a scarf with little tiny beads. I don't know. I just think this is a wonderful stylized version of that World War II spy. Dancing away, deceiving everybody every step along the way. All right, another thing I wanted to show you was her little star earrings. But you can see the stitches. I use many different kinds of stitches on all of these. And I made all the mats in white with a different needlepoint stitch. Next we have Ava Perón, the famous Argentinian who inspired the song, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. Uh, Ava was a very colorful character and you can see that I put some ribbons in her hair There's her adoring crowd in the background. And these are Savorsky crystals for her necklace and her earrings. So there you have it, the one and only Ava Perone. Definitely a wild woman in history, wouldn't you say? Next we come to Carmen Miranda. Oh, this was really fun to stitch. It had so many colors. And then I took these fruit beads and attached them. They're three-dimensional beads, as you can see, maybe maybe a little bit from the side here. Three-dimensional beads to put all that fruit in her hair. But, oh, my goodness. Another, another very colorful ca character. A favorite wild woman in history for sure. Oh, I love this one. The one and only Marilyn Monroe. I've decked her out in a red dress and on her finger, you can see I put a big, huge rhinestone representing a very large carrot diamond ring. And these were pretty rosettes I made out of ribbon. And then she has, and then she has little star beads for her earrings. And there's the Hollywood <laughs> lights. Ah, uh, she was such a, she was such an interesting character and still very popular to this day. Next up is Madame Chiang Kai Shek. This was fun stitching. I loved doing her headdress with the little beads. I don't know whether you can see them or not. But here again, interesting background stitches. Gold adornment, gold thread adornments. Little butterflies. And a wonderful, wonderful picture, in my opinion, needlepoint picture of Madame Chiang Kai-shek. This is Betsy Ross. Oh, Betsy stitching away the, and making and making herself self famous by creating the American flag. You can see I've made her hair into, into ringlets. 
Also some other interesting backgrounds and stars are appropriate. Different color blue on her dress. Ah, Betsy Ross, we're grateful to you for making such a beautiful, beautiful flag. Next we have Queen Elizabeth I. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see the little beads that I put it in between those triangles. A lot of detail on this one. And a ring made of rows of beads. Queen Elizabeth I, another wild woman in history. Now we have Scarlett O'Hara. There she is in all her beauty, sitting in front of Tara, holding a bouquet of stylized flowers. Here again, you can see the stitches, all the different stitches I've used to make this stand out and an interesting white needlepoint mat to frame her. Okay, Char Char Scarlett, you're looking mighty nice. And you definitely qualify as a wild woman in history. Here you have Queen Lily Lukiani. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that's right. The Hawaiian queen, very, very famous, doing the hula dance. So she has on like a grass skirt, flowers, a long braid in her hair. So there you have it. Nine wild women in history, all stitched in needlepoint by yours truly. And I can tell you for sure that needlepoint is such a passion of mine. What was interesting to me is, is that when I first discovered needlepoint, when I was in my 20s, I didn't like doing it at all. My mother-in-law would fill in the endless background stitches. I liked doing the detail work. But at some point, I kicked over into just loving this art form. And in the ensuing years, I have I have made millions and millions of stitches. I can promise you that's not an understatement. But this is the largest piece of needlepoint I have ever done. The whole, each one of those, um, Women is nine by nine in size. So I was amazed that they could even get them all into one frame. But we had a fabulous framer who did a beautiful job and how I love how, how, how it was framed and how it's turned out. And I can also tell you that I love looking at this. I love looking at all these wild women and thinking back over the years when I had so much fun stitching each one of them. And another thing I want to say is that these were all the actual needlepoint designs were created by an absolutely talented, wonderful needlepoint designer named Melissa Shirley. I just interpreted her, that, well, what the process is, is she, she gets out a blank piece of needlepoint canvas and then paints all these images on it. And then it's up to me to interpret each one of them in stitches. And that is the fun part, is trying to be creative when designing and choosing the stitches to make these nine women come alive. So that's what I did. and. As I said, I've had a passion for needlepoint my entire life. I was fortunate because for my job, I traveled a lot. So I got to take my needlepoint on planes, which made the time go by so much faster. And I got a lot of work done in all those years of traveling. You know, some there are a couple of years I traveled 60,000 miles across America in just one year. 
And every time I brought with me needlepoint, another thing it helped me do is when there were the inevitable delays, flight delays, I always had something to do. So I never got irritated or upset if the flight didn't take off on time. So there you have it. My absolutely, oh, a piece of needlepoint, uh, nine needlepoint images, which I absolutely love. They are so much fun to look at. And my passion for this art form continues to this day, but I'll never do one again, probably with nine different images. So I hope you enjoyed this video of a real artistic passion of mine, the needlepoint arts.